So on deck, over on this side, we need uh, Peter Lovett. But first, Tim Ansell. Um, so I have too many projects, and um, I need to sleep. Again? So I would love some help on doing some of them. Um, alternatively, this talk could be titled um, What You Could Hack On During Sprints. Um, this is an exhaustive list, but this is some of the things I think that would be awesome for you. First one is a thing called Slide Lint, which if you are at last year's um, PyCon AU, you would have given, um, seen me given a talk on it, um, a lightning talk. It's basically a proofreader. Um, it had a command line interface, but had a lot of dependencies, was quite hard to install. So now we have a website version where you can um, go and check your presentations for common problems that make AV people unhappy. Um, this is kind of it checking my own presentation and finding out that I have issues in my own presentation. Um, it's slidelint.net. Um, the code's all open source. Go and download and help us fix it. Um, I could really use some help with just standard English grammar. I'm not particularly good at that. Um, we need a logo, but also need new checkers. It's all written in Python, so um, this seems like a perfect conference to have it. Um, the next thing is we've been doing live video streaming from the conference and um, a bunch of other open source conferences and the tools that I've been using for that are kind of in a collection called Tim's Video. Um, as you can see, it's quite a lot of things going on and they all need lots of work. Um, the first thing is a thing called the HDMI to USB, which we're not quite using yet, but hope to soon. It's a HDMI DVI capture solution that's all FOSS, um, the PCB schematic and all the firmware is um, open source. Um, while the firmware is obviously written in non-Python because you can't load Python onto FPGA yet, um, there's a lot of helpers that are written in Python, like linting tools, auto builders, debug scripts, code generation. As well, the PCB and schematic are written in, um, are, uh, done with KiCad. KiCad is Python extendable. So more Python. Python seems to be everywhere. Um, the next thing is GST switch. It's a software video switcher. Again, we're still not quite using this, um, but it has a nice Python API and that would love some work. Um, this is the part that we are using. It's a streaming system. This is what it looks like on the web. Um, you can see that you can kind of see the previews. It gives you the schedule, Twitter, IRC, all this type of thing. Um, it's supposed to kind of give you a nice way to browse the um, conference. It has kind of two parts, the front end and the back end. It's as much Python as there is Python. Um, the front end's all Django. Um, it needs a lot of love. I'm not a Django programmer. And this has been developed pretty much just in time at conferences. So you can imagine it's not the best code. Um, but it is Python, so at least it doesn't look like Perl. Um, <laughs> the back end is Flumotion. It's written in GStreamer and Python. Um, all our deploy scripts are like shell. So, and um, we have a hacking monitoring scripts written in Python. Again, all Python, love your help. Um, this helps get people to uh, attend PyCon who can't afford to get here or otherwise can't attend. So I think that's kind of important. Um, I have another, uh, another important project that I reckon you should use, and that's Python DateTime TZ. Um, it's a DateTime compatible module that deeply cares about time zones and understands things like there are hours that don't exist and things like that. It's not like the time, the normal DateTime that just kind of gives up and then you use it with PyTZ and it gets it wrong. Um, it uses PyTZ and that stuff Internally, it just makes sure that it gets right. It is a bit slow, but at least your dates aren't wrong. Um, I also have a bunch of other projects. As, you, as I said, I have lots of projects and need help and don't like sleeping, apparently. Um, first one is a little finance tool. Um, it's written in Django, Selenium. Um, another one is Events Everywhere. Again, Python. Um, it's designed to try and make it so organizing user groups sucks less. Um, I also maintain a version of a um, lightning timer, um, which is which is wrong. 
I started at the same time no, you, you did. No, you didn't. Five, um. four, three. Everyone thank Tim Ansel. <laughs> now, Tim gives this talk every year, so perhaps if you help on some of his projects tomorrow, he won't uh, take up a slot next year. 